Good morning, what is up, budget family? Okay, so I've been thinking that like I need to come up with a name for you guys who are with me for budgeting purposes. Like, you know, for like my regular vlogs and YouTube videos, I call you guys family, but I don't know. I feel like I need something else for my budget family, like my budget extended family. We need our own name. So, I'm thinking because of my little tagline on the end about slaying our own dragon, I feel like my budget cousins, you know, us who are worried about a dollar and counting our coin, I think I'm going to call you guys my slayers. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, good morning, slayers. We are about to budget, um, not budget, but stuff my cash envelopes for my second paycheck of April. And I did do a budgeting video, which is why I'm saying budgeting. Um, I did do a budget video for this paycheck, which I will link up in the atmosphere, up here, if you guys want to check that out. But we're gonna get right into it. I've already taken the envelopes out of my binder. Um, and we're gonna be starting with every day, which is gas, grocery, self-care, and household. So we're gonna jump right into it. Okay, and for gas, we are doing $20, which is just the 20. Um, I did already fill up my tank, and this $10 is in there because I did not use cash to pay for my gas. This time I used um, one of my credit cards for the points, so this will most likely just be going back to towards paying off my credit card because right now my gas tank is at a full tank. So, gas is stuffed. And for grocery, and honestly guys, I think I'm gonna take out the trackers because one, they're annoying. And two, for especially for the everyday category, I don't really need them, if that makes sense. I, I really don't need them. So, we're just gonna take them out. Um, for grocery, we are going back to doing our usual 60. So we'll take out three 20s, two, four, and six. There we go. Okay, and for grocery, we are going back towards our usual 60. So two, four, and six. That is going into grocery. Um, next is self-care. We're also taking out this tracker. There's actually money left in self-care. It is a dollar. So we will be setting that aside because it will be going into our uh, savings jar. Um, and self-care is getting $25, which is a 20 and a five. And household is getting 15. And we still have money left in household. We have $5 and two pennies left in household. So we'll put that to the side. It's also going in my savings jar. All right, and that brings us to the end of our everyday category. And now we'll be moving on to prep and landing.
And prep and landing consists of miscellaneous, Tom Tom, Theo, back to school, and beauty. So starting with miscellaneous, get rid of this tracker. Uh, miscellaneous will be getting ten dollars. And I never fully explained it, but like miscellaneous just is blah blah. Miscellaneous is just for that was like a tongue twister, and I don't understand why. But it's just for um, anything that like doesn't directly correlate to any of my other envelopes that I need to get. Like if I'm buying something and I'm short a couple dollars in an envelope to get it, I'll just draw from my miscellaneous to go towards that. So it literally is for exactly what it's called, miscellaneous items. <laughs> um, Tom Tom is getting 10. And I didn't say it, but there was nothing in miscellaneous, so now miscellaneous only has $10 in it. I had to put what was in miscellaneous towards my car. But okay, so $10 here. And now to count it out for TomTom, -tom, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70, 585, 90. And I actually did have to take from um, Tom Tom and Theo's uh, little envelopes because I had to get them some new sneakers and what was in back to school didn't fully cover how much their sneakers cost. So I believe I took five or $10 from each of their envelopes. So I do have to pay them that back. But Theo for right now is also getting a 10. So 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. Yeah, definitely got to pay them back because they should have the exact same amount in their envelopes. Going into back to school, that is getting 40. So two 20s. And as you can see, like I said, back to school is empty because I had to use the money that was in here to get the boys some new shoes. Like, I'm telling you, kids grow like every five minutes. Every five minutes. It's just... Sometimes I just look at them like, how tall do y'all need to be? I just bought those pants. Why can I see your ankle? How tall do you need to get? How big do your feet need to be? Why is it not enough for you? But okay, I have $10 left in beauty. Um, and I'm going to keep that in there and not put it into my savings jar because I'm actually saving up to get my hair professionally braided because right now I put some braids in it by myself but I am not a professional and it shows so I want to get on profession my braids professionally done so we are saving up for that and beauty is getting five dollars so beauty is getting five dollars along with the 10 in there that brings beauty to 15. And it also brings us to the end of prep and landing. And we are now moving on to long term, which is new house, new car and retirement. So I do believe that they are all getting $20. And I have my um, 
budget by paycheck workbook right next to me so i'm just verifying that and yes they each get twenty dollars and i'll have to figure out another way to make the trackers like logical because it just it doesn't it makes sense but sometimes when it comes time to like actually have to use the money that's in the envelopes the trackers stop making sense and just annoy me so i'm really gonna have to get a binder eventually because it'll just make life so much easier than carrying around this big thing in my purse so 20 35 so we have 35 in our new house envelope and i also need to find a way to be able to track what i have in my envelopes as well as what i have in the bank with these envelopes a uh, new car is currently empty because again my current car needed some work and i had to use the money from this envelope miscellaneous and car maintenance to pay for the work like i definitely need to just get a new car because the, the black widow she's turning into a money pit All right, and then retirement gets a 20. So in our envelope for retirement, we now have 100, two, four, six, five, $165 in retirement. Along with the 300 plus dollars we have in the bank. Okay. So, these are all stuffed. And we are moving from long term into our last category, which is build. All right, so starting with travel, travel gets $10 and it has $10 in it still. So travel now has $20. And I'm still waiting on my tax refund. Like has anyone else gotten theirs? Because the IRS is taking a mighty long time, mighty long time. Business gets a five. Like, I know they got to worry about the stimulus and such, but I mean, this is taking a very long time. Um, card maintenance gets 15. I'm sorry, I still had card maintenance in my purse instead of in the envelope, so... Uh, so I took out the 10. Here is the 5. So we got to build car maintenance back up because it got depleted. <laughs> oh, it hurt passing that money over to get the car fixed. Oh, it hurt. Okay, and so that leaves us with a 10, two 5s, and our 1s. Which I believe, why do I always do this? I did something wrong again, guys, because I should have had one extra 20. And I didn't count the money before I left the bank, which I probably should have done just to make sure that I had 10 20s. But I like to give people the benefit of the doubt that they do their job correctly. So I never count it, but I'm going to start. Oh, but it's probably my fault. I did something wrong. All right, we'll just take tracker out of there. And we'll leave emergency fund out. We'll put the rest back. Okay. Y'all probably see the mistake I made. It just, it's never that clear and evident to me. 
okay all right so whatever it doesn't want to close all right and then to go to our last binder um which has birthdays christmas and black friday they are each getting four dollars in them so one two three four three four okay so birthdays four dollars goes into christmas oh and i forgot there's money in here so let me act like i know and count two four six seven eight nine one two three four so a hundred and four dollars is now in christmas Birthdays had a 10, so birthdays now has $14. Thought birthdays was empty. Okay. And then lastly to Black Friday. It has a tracker too, so let me take that out. And now for Black Friday, we have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four. That also has $104. Okay. So that is everything. And we have $10, $15, $20. Okay. So it wasn't a $20 bill, but it still is the $20 that is supposed to go into emergency fund. So here we go. I still feel like I did something wrong, but it all worked out. So maybe I didn't. And then let me put you away. And then this $6.02 will be going into my savings jar. Okay, guys. So that brings us to the end of our video. Um, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And remember, all 2021 and beyond, we are slaying our own dragons, getting things done, and making it happen for ourselves. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, oh.